Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here as we continue in Old World Blues using the uh, Blue Rose Society rework mod for Hearts of Mind 4 right now. Um, I apologize for the last episode. I don't know what happened. Like, obviously the video is recording but my voice was not. So, I don't know what happened and I, I apologize a lot. And someone, uh, someone in the comments said I should replay it and I'll probably replay it eventually. Um, so, I apologize for not having any audio. Um, but, yeah. Another comment was, Darn bro, that was a crazy story. Tell us about that stuff that happened. Which, you know, joke. I know. Um, so, I apologize once again for that happening. But right now, for this episode, well, we're currently beating the crap out of Texas. We're doing very, very well. Um, but we're going to try to get to Seattle, Navarro, Area 51, as well as Tlaloxlair to see what happens once we can get these all online. So, that's from the picture over here. Um, other than that, all the focuses are now done. I apologize once again for not being able to get these all done while reading them to you. But, and you saw everything, you know, protectors of mankind, the recent events have proven what we always knew. This planet is in grave danger, and if humanity does not stop killing itself, the aliens will inevitably destroy us all. Our people will do everything necessary to prevent the apocalypse. We are the last hope for humanity and like minded allies. Recently, the pre-war police AI had attempted to seize control of Denver, failed by the, at, at this, but weakened the locals. And put it to fortress. Our weapons surpassed even Metal Gear, which would be great, but I think we'd probably try to do a time lapse, um, and hopefully it has at least some sort of audio, uh, besides, or at least my voice at some point. <clears throat> But we're taking these guys out. We actually have no manpower. Not good. Um, so, 9,000. 13,000, huh? 9,000 bucks gets a lot of factories. Well, I don't mind 13. More manpower is always very nice. We want to make more, more divisions, too. We're be making a lot of robots. Doing all that would be very important. But we're, I guess technically we don't have to go to War Texas. I want to reward them just because I know they, they come for us eventually, so taking them out now would be good. Um, later on, we will need to go war with these guys too, but we will we will need to beat up the, the NCR as well. Which is going to be kind of a little difficult, but whatever, because NCR can be a giant pain in the truckers to take out. Oh my god, how do the Houston Rockets do so well? It's a very good question to ask. So, um, but in the meantime, he is refined. We're a fine group here. We are very refined. So. Oh, well, uh, well, we're just going to continue doing this. We've been embargoed, huh? And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in just a little bit. Confidential Houston Seeds. Uh, a synopsis of facts. Troops have entered Houston today. It was site of pre-war orbital rocket command base. After initial observation, agents confirmed their earlier reports. The base has been largely demolished by its previous owners. Most technical equipment has been refitted to work as rudimentary entertainment equipment or similar uses things. Most usable electronics have been restricted and those that remain are barely functional. Agents have located a large functional antenna. It would be useful in establishing communication networks spanning across America. Text reference. Agent report on recent capture of Houston. At least it's something. So get, well, it's not worth very much, but we can go to war these guys next if we really wanted to. Uh, they're not looking so good, though. Oh, it's because they have a crap ton of resistance up there. Oh, that's not good. Um, at least we did get Houston. That's good. However, this is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a huge pain in the butt. Because these guys have to come up here and do this, and do that, but, let's see, let's do this, 
We will not get attributed. Nope. Because you guys are over here. Or at least you're moving up there so you can help take out the clam jumpers who want to raid us. And I'm like, nah. No thanks. Uh, they're still trying to get more money and political power and whatnot. So uh, there's that too. We could do a hack the satellites, which wouldn't be bad, but um, I don't lose too much political power. We need to core more stuff too, but eh, I'll do this one right now. Might as well for now. Um, dispatch to Agents of Texas. But we're looking pretty good. Gator Ma's got quite a bit of territory, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. Uh, could we actually invade? It looks like we might be able to. Spy's going to be so god awful, though. Uh, Iron Mongers. We should be fine. They can attack us as long as we attack through here. We should be okay. And move through here quickly. Yeah, you guys go in to advance aquifers. That'd be nice. Can we invade too? Oh, we're, we're still just fine. Okay. Gotta wait a little while before we can go to war with them, which is fine. Which is fine, 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 fine. Get through all of here real quick, like. Cool. And we're just gonna keep pushing in. I don't think there's anything here too much in terms of. Uh, uh, extra story bits. So we'll just keep justifying people and going to war with people and eventually try to take out the Republic of the Rio Grande.
Well, everyone, I got a little tired of just playing, and it would be such a huge grind to get all those other states, so I just annexed everybody. Navarro Bay seized. Synopsis. Troops of Vander Navarro Base today. Initial survey confirms the reported state of devastation on the bases and the missing of military equipment. Agents attempted to hack the steel and tech terminals that some of the NCR researchers were using. Attempt turned out to be useless as the terminals had not been encrypted by the NCR. Terminal entries received, uh, revealed existence of hidden base compartment. After obtaining passcode to the computer, the team entered the compartment. EDF Task Force located multiple underground hangars with functional VBO2 vertical takeoff as well as multiple troop transport helicopters. In a separate part of the base, EDF. Units found experimental com powered combat infantry armor in working condition. EDF attempted to restore power to the base, which caused a malfunction which led to the emergency self-destruct of the base, activating the team leader decided to order a general evacuation of Navarro, California. EDF team does not have enough time to map out or rescue all equipment from the destruction. Now request, they now request all does not how to proceed. Power armor? Sophisticated power armor. Vertebrates. Oh, God. Mm, advanced power armor vertebrates. I like the vertebrates more, but <sighs> power armor. Uh, uh, troops of synopsis of Area 51 seized. Troops have entered the pre-war site known as Area 51 today. Initial survey and observation confirms theory about an underground portion of the base and hangars being attacked. Local agents proceeded according to their in received intel. Agents entered base at 1240 MST, deactivating the base security system. With the minimal casualties, they reached a supermax containment cell. Using a scanner for organic matter, they were able to confirm the existence of an undefiable life form in the cell. After searching the files of the site, the creature was identified as the original alien that was crashed at Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. Agents now requested orders on how to proceed. Exterminate him. Study it. Oh, we're going to study it. Oh, well, I guess technically we should have eliminated it. Yeah, probably, honestly, would have been better, but... Uh, uh, Flux, there seas. Troops have entered the U.S. military HQ to, in Mexico today. Artificial intelligence known as Clalock had been operating there until recently. Team tasked with rebooting him has not been successful as of yet. The second team tasked with taking control of the nuclear warheads stationed at the location has reported success and was able to seize the warheads, unfortunately. Emergency security protocols triggered that activated the detonation process of all warheads. The team was only able to disarm a portion before the detonation. This led to the destruction of much valuable technology and invaluable data. Reconstruction work on the base has begun as well as the command post of the facility. What remains of the arsenal has been ordered to not be used unless an invasion, alien invasion occurs. You get one nuke? Okay. <coughs> I'm get some cores. And Seattle. <coughs> Jibs have been to the city of Seattle today. Initial surveys show a ruinous state of city, with a few buildings remaining intact. An extensive underground complex was discovered filled with hostels. After all bunkers were pacified and the leaders interrogated, agents were able to conduct a more thorough investiga search investigation of the city. After multiple failed searches, agents discovered that the Seattle Space Needle was actually a disguised UFO that had been placed by aliens as emergency escape tra transport in case of a crash landing nearby. Spacecraft seemed to be mostly unusable with a few of the remaining components missing. However, the antenna of the craft remains mostly fully intact. Now, they request on how to proceed. Repair the UFO. Convert to radio tower. Um, let's go repair, repair it. And Boulder Dome seized. Oh. There me, gang. I'm not gonna but this, please go ahead. So. Troops have entered Boulder, Colorado today. They've located and entered the facility known as Boulder Dome. Large parts of the facility are destroyed and others are considered inaccessible due to the extreme uh, disease risk in large parts of the base. What is accessible has been mostly been stripped of valuables by the prospectors that were previously roaming the area. When searching the lower levels of agents, discovered a malfunctioning Zax computer. After initial rebooting attempts were unsuccessful, the team decided to salvage it for resources. How disappointing. And confidential. ArcNet completed. All locations were taken by our troops. Uh, we've established full control over the most continents of North America, and alien activity has been reduced by approximately 94%. We're the beginning of the golden age for humanity. A humanity safe from the outside threats. It's the end of the Blue uh, Blossom submod. I hope you enjoyed or had fun playing it. I sure had fun making it. Thanks for many. Thanks for playing so long. Safe at last. Now go outside. Cool. So yeah, I did use consequence at the end just because like I got tired of it, and I apologize for, you know for the fade and fade outs and whatnot. But you know, hello. Radioactive tear. All right. So I think that's that's pretty much it. Um, that's really cool. I enjoyed it a lot, and, uh, yeah, I apologize once again for the last episode not being so, uh, like, literally no, me not talking at all, which really sucked, but, you know, there's not much I can really do about it, but, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, regardless, leave a like, please, uh, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign, thanks for watching, have a great, 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 great rest of your day.